welcome to the Just Tales. Today is my October goals video, but also I will timestamp the video because at the end, it is going to be my birthday haul. Everything I got for my birthday as well as what I use my birthday discounts on. A lot of stores have discounts for your birthday and I make sure to get all the discounts I can for my birthday month. So that'll be at the end. I will timestamp if you wanna to skip to that. Also, I'd like to apologize because I did get a cold for my most recent travel. So I know I sound sick and also my air conditioning is running and you may hear that. Before we get into it, if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Every single subscriber means the world to me and I love, especially when you guys come back to my videos. If you like these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up. I am doing monthly resets every single month, but it's so nice to know that you guys enjoy them. So I wanna keep this video pretty short, so let's get right into it. First, we're going to discuss my September goals, what I did and did not do. So for my business goals, for the past few months, I've said that I'm going to edit my YouTube videos daily. This is a habit that I had like six months ago and I was so good about it. And I have not been good about it for a very long time. And I did not do a good job of that in September either. One of my goals was to make more quick form video content for TikTok and Reels. I definitely did this. I posted way more than I have in the past few months. I would say probably even the past year. So I'm very proud of myself for that one. I wanted to edit and post my Cape Cod travel vlog. At the time of this video, I don't know if it'll be live yet, but it is completed and it is scheduled. I wanted to do three vlogs a week on TikTok Reels and Shorts. I pretty much hit that. I definitely did more. I'm not sure if I did three a week, but I know I focus on TikTok, so you may not have seen them on Instagram or on YouTube shorts, but I crossed that one off. I did not do two get ready's with me a week on TikTok. I definitely did more than I usually do, but I don't think I did two a week, and that's okay because I still improved my quantity of the short form videos. My last goal was to invest my profits into an ETF or mutual fund. These are all the profits from the Just Tales, which is this business, and I did not do that. Everything is sitting in my investment account, but I need to pick out an ETF for mutual fund so I moved that on to this month. For my personal goals, I wanted to go to the gym three days a week. I definitely kept up with this even through traveling. The only time I didn't was whenever we were in Cape Cod because we did not have a gym to go to. I wanted to do three runs a week and I did not do this. I think I did two or three runs total in the month of September. I also wanted to continue stretching for splits. Splits has been one of my goals for years and I also did not keep up with that in September. One of my goals was to not lose my mind while traveling. I was home for a grand total of 13 days the entire month of September. Plus it was my birthday month. There was just a lot going on. Um, I think I did pretty good. I wasn't too stressed out. And then my last goal was to celebrate my birthday. And it sounds silly, but to not cry. I always cry during my birthday because everyone else is getting older. And this year I've just kind of accepted that. And I'm so grateful that everyone that I have in my life is continuously getting older with me. It's such a blessing. So I did really good. I did not cry about getting older this year. Okay, on to October. The things that I will improve this month. I'm really, really going to focus on the fact that there are 90 days left in the year. There was a motivational speaker that I attended during one of my work conferences last week. And he was talking about how 90 days forms a really good habit. So it kind of hit me that there's 90 days left in the year of 2023 and I just wanna be hyper-focused for the last quarter of the year. What I did like about September, I did love how much I traveled even though it was exhausting and two of those trips were for work. One of them was vacation. I'm still really thankful and blessed that I get to travel and that I get to kind of see new places. I also love my birthday celebrations. I turned 28 on September 27th and I loved getting to hang out with my family and my friends and I felt really, really special all month. For my October business goal, I want to do daily YouTube editing. Like I said, I'm really making the next 90 days 100% about my daily habits and about my goals. I think the best thing for me to do is just do it in the morning when I wake up as I'm having my coffee at least. 20 to 30 minutes, it usually turns into more, but that'll make sure that I get some editing done every single day, and I really want to make that a habit again. I wanna post one video every single day on TikTok, and since I did not do this in September, I do want to invest my profits into an ETF or a mutual fund. For my personal goals, I wanna go ahead and knock out a majority of our Christmas shopping for all of our friends and family. There are some things I wanna wait for because of Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals, but for the most part, 
a lot of our presents we can get now. Something I am challenging myself to this month is a no buy for myself, including gift cards. I got myself a lot for my birthday, as you will see, and that's good with me, especially around the holidays. My money is gonna be going to other people and friends and family and I just don't want to buy myself anything. There's nothing that I need. If I want something, I'll add it to my own Christmas list. I want to clean out my Google Photos for 2023. I don't keep my photos on my phone because I don't have the storage, so I have to really watch how much storage I'm taking up with Google Photos. And then for my last personal goal, it is gym focused. So I do want to still go to the gym three times a week like I have been. I do want to add running three times a week though. I've been doing the Nike Run app and I'm on I think the like beginner running program and I just want to start that over it's like three runs a week and one of those runs is only five to ten minutes so it's super easy super attainable I have really enjoyed running through this app I do the guided runs and I never thought that I could run over a mile what I've learned from doing this is a mile running is really not that difficult at all for me and it makes me feel so good and so energized so I definitely want to keep that up throughout October. And stretching daily, of course, I want to still do the splits. Plus, when I'm running and working out so much, it's imperative that I stretch. So I want to keep doing that. Okay, so that is everything for the goals. I try to keep it super short. The next part of this video is going to be everything that I got for my birthday. I want to preface by saying I'm not doing this to like show off or brag. I love watching birthday and Christmas hauls because I love to get ideas for do I want that or it's just fun I think to see what other people get and it's kind of like shopping through other people but I do not want it to come off like braggy or anything like that I feel so thankful that I got what I got and I'm also very thankful that I am able to buy things for myself as well I don't take any of this stuff for granted I don't even think it's that crazy everybody's idea of a lot is very different I just want to preface everything I know it can be a very sensitive topic when you share gifts that you got um, or how much you're spending, etc. So I also wanna say that most of these presents I asked for, um, the biggest items from my parents, like they always ask me what I want and I ask for something. So no, my friends and family are not like great trendy mind readers. These are all items that I specifically asked for. First up, these are Birkenstock Arizona sandals. I love these. They're a pink mauve suede. I have fallen in love with Birkenstocks. I got the Boston Clogs last year and they're my favorite shoe. So I really wanted the Arizona sandal with the suede top and I just wanted to get the pink ones because I think they're a little bit more fun. I'm just a pink person, but I do like that these are more of a neutral pink so I can still wear them with a lot of color and not feel like it looks tacky. I was between these or the taupe ones, but I am happy that I got these. They're just me okay next i asked for this from my parents and it is the lululemon wonder puff i got the cropped jacket this is called a heathered taupe i believe and i did get my regular size four it fits amazing i've just heard great things about this jacket and it is such great quality it's super lightweight and it's very packable like it really squeezes down i don't really own good jackets because i live in north carolina but it does get cold enough the hood is removable so you just snap it off and it is also water repellent it's just a really high quality jacket i can tell it'll keep me really warm you can cinch the waist the pockets zip this is something that i would not buy for myself because it is pretty pricey but a good quality jacket is something everybody needs and i just like the neutral color i have a lot of black so i wanted to still get a neutral jacket but it not be black the wonder puff is something that's been on my list for years so i finally was like that's what i want mom and dad and that's what they got me this is funny because my mom thinks i am crazy for asking for this but the super trendy and it is the free people like jumper. I'll put a picture of what it looks like on the model. It's really cute. Um, this isn't something that I would like wear out necessarily, um, but I did ask for it and I just wanted it in gray because it's a good neutral. But I think this will be so comfy just wearing around the house. I've already tried it on and need to wash it, but I love it. It's not the most flattering thing. You either love it or you hate it, but it is trendy. Everyone says it's really comfortable. Like, why not? I like it. I also got this perfume from Dime Beauty. I love their perfumes because it is clean beauty. You'll have to go to their website and do your own research on what they use for fragrances, but it's not supposed to be 
harmful. It's almost like a sweet woodsy fragrance. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that is the name of the perfume. A perfume sample kit from Dime Beauty. So it's pretty much all of their most popular fragrances. I actually love getting little perfume samples because they're perfect to travel with or to throw in your purse. And this was just like a perfume birthday. I don't really know why, but I also received the Chanel Chance perfume. I did not ask for this, but I love the way that this smells. It smells so clean, lightweight, a little bit floral, very girly, but it's not sweet. I don't know how to describe it, but it smells incredible. And also I love that it's slightly pink. It looks really pretty out on my bathroom counter, but I've been wearing this every single day since I got it. Since I got it about a week ago. I also like that it is pretty small, so it's easy to travel with if you're carrying on. I brought it with me on my carry on. It doesn't leak because the lid's really tight, but it's just a really nice clean fragrance. Okay, so that was pretty much everything that I received as presents besides like gift cards and some money and cards, and I won't share all of that. But now I'm going to talk about what I got for myself. Every single year I go to Kinder Scott. In your birthday month, you can get one regular fashion item 50% off or you get 25% off a fine jewelry item. First thing I got, I actually saw my aunt had this on like months ago and I thought it looked like David Yerman. It was so pretty. She said, no, it's Kendra Scott. So I knew I had to get it. While I was in Kendra Scott checking out on the checkout counter that said if it's your birthday and you're redeeming your birthday discount, if you spend at least $25, then you get to pick either one of these necklaces or earrings and they're only $25 instead of the $50 price tag. So another half off item. So since this bracelet came out to $30 instead of the original 60, I fell in love with this necklace and decided to get this as well. But I think this is so pretty. I hope you can tell on camera, but it kind of reflects back like a pearlescent, a pinkish blue kind of hue but it's so pretty and they always have the short chains which I love and I think the detail on this chain is really pretty as well. Okay, my next favorite place to go is Anthropology, and they actually just opened one up close to me so I was really excited to get to go into the store. I thought that the Anthropology birthday discount was 20% off one item. Like last year I got myself a pair of UGG slippers from Anthropology. The girl behind the counter here told me it's 20% off your entire purchase, like multiple items. This is really odd but I'm obsessed with their kitchen towels and dishcloths. There's sorcery behind them. You can wash and dry them as many times as you want. They never get mixed up. They never get twisted. They never get faded. I have a white dish towel from them that I've had for no joke five to seven years now and it is the only dish towel I own that has not stained and I don't understand how or why but I'm obsessed with them so every year I buy myself more. These I thought were so pretty so I got a set of three dish towels just really pretty colors. My kitchen is black and white and colorful rug, so I try to get colorful accents. From Anthropology, I also got myself a coaster from my office. My office is very pink, as you can tell, but I love these coasters with like the rock stuff in them. And this one was just really pretty, so picked it up to go on my desk because I always have an iced coffee or a little iced Olipop or something on my desk with me, and I keep saying I need a coaster so I picked this up in the store I thought it was pretty and then lastly I got this corduroy baseball hat I love these I've been wanting one for so long I've seen them everywhere this season I'm really excited about this because I feel like you can dress this up more and what I mean by dressed up I just mean like not a sporty baseball cap. I don't mean to like wear this to a fancy restaurant, but this would be cute with Uggs and jeans. And I just, I don't know. I love the way it looks and I wanted another black hat. I love wearing hats because it's so easy if you don't want to do your hair. And then from Target, I get 5% off. Again, I don't know if it's a purchase or a thing. I'm pretty sure it's a purchase, but I bought this. It's Mindful Affirmations and it's a weekly dose of self-love, self-care, and mindfulness. So there are 52 cards in here, but what I really like about this is it comes with this wooden block. And so you can set it up and I'm going to set mine on my bathroom counter and you just put a card on the wooden block and then it sits up like this so you can read it every day. So it comes with 52 cards. So you can continuously change them out throughout the year. In Sephora, you get a birthday present, like a little sampler. I always choose to get the 250 extra points to my account, 
but from Sephora, I just bought myself a vitamin C cream. I had a gift card on my account for like $50 from last Christmas. So I finally used it on the face cream and then I got the Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oil. So I will post pictures of what I got from Sephora, but I just got the extra points. You also get a birthday discount from Madewell and there is one long sleeve shirt that I got last year in black. So I got it again this year in olive green because I love that shirt so much. It was my most worn item last year so easy to put the long sleeve crop shirt on with a pair of jeans and a cropped vest it's like my go-to outfit in the fall and winter so i got that top in green and then this is kind of an extra bonus birthday gift because i still hadn't spent my visa gift card from last birthday so i went to lululemon and i've been wanting just the classic black scuba but i want it in full zip so this is the first full zip scuba that I have, but I love them so much because they have the thumb holes so it keeps my hands warm while I'm typing. And I got the hood on this one just in case I needed one, but I just wanted a black full zip hoodie. So I got that and that was paid for with a gift card from my birthday last year. Also Starbucks always gives you a free drink. I ended up getting that on my work trip because I was on a work trip over my birthday. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of other birthday discounts, some I don't even know about. Please tell me any birthday discounts down below. I know that Krispy Kreme I think gives you a free dozen, which I just learned. I think Duck and Donut says something too, but put those down below because I am all about birthday discounts. I love making it a tradition for myself. I know Victoria's Secret also gives you a free pair of underwear, which I just realized I never got this year. Now I'm thinking about all these things I may have forgotten. So anyways, that is my little birthday haul. I will have everything linked in the description box below. And before you go, if you did enjoy this, please subscribe, like mentioned in the beginning. I will see you next week.